Like I went into a certain church and um, it was a church my dad frequented and the, all of a sudden here comes the pastor. The gay people are out here trying to take our kids to hell with them. And I'm just sitting here like, I'm, what? And he just kept going and I was getting so mad in church and I was just getting so, so mad. Then I started crying because there's not much I can do in church in the middle of a sermon. And so then I did end up walking out. My dad, he was the one to comfort me. He was like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He was just basically comforting me. And that was the part that I needed. Like my father to be like, it's okay. Hello, my name is Petty Officer Khalil Whitfield. And I'm her wife, Elise Whitfield. Second grader, so I yeah. kind of knew. And I have brothers, so it's like it just became natural for me. It's yeah. like, oh, hey, look at her, you know, look at that girl. Like, oh, she's cute. Like, <laughs> that's just kind of how I was. I was just never really attracted to males. There comes a point in time where your parents, they know, but they're just not trying to embrace it. It got to the point with my parents. I'm like, look, it is what it is. You can accept it or you can't, but I, I can't appease you my whole life. Our parents are very old school, so and they we were raised very old school. So they're like, wait a minute, this was not a part of the upbringing. <laughs> like, what's going on? So we appreciate our parents definitely taking, going outside of themselves, and you know, trying to understand it opposed to always questioning us. Honestly, probably would just stay back in the states yeah. if it was don't ask, don't tell, just to keep her safe. Because last thing I need is for somebody to push her down a ladder. Well, like <laughs> that is the last thing I need. So I would probably be back stateside just so she would be safe. Probably wouldn't be where I am today if all that stuff was still going on. Um, probably have to really keep things secretive and less out in the open with my wife, and it probably wouldn't be a good thing to be living in. <laughs> wouldn't be the kind of love that we have now. I think it would have been a lot harder. I think everyday things that we do now, we, would, we wouldn't be doing. Just as simple as going to the commissary and stuff like together. So I think just being able to be together is like the key for us. And then if you, whoever your boyfriend, girlfriend, soon to be spouse is, you guys have to have a strong be willing to, you know, catch whatever gets thrown at you, no matter if it's uh, some long waiting in line or people making smart remarks or even walking in the necks holding hands, you know, you're gonna get those parents like double taken, you know, seeing what's going on, but yeah. it's my life. <laughs> I think it's important for people to be like aware and for them, for people to know, like gay people don't wanna just you know, be out and about and throw it in your face. They just want to live. Regardless of any of the negative things that may come your way, just enjoy life. Be yourself. That's it. That's all you can be, you know. However That's you want to dress, if you want to wear the all black or the eyeshadow or the type, you do whatever you need to do to be you. Don't let anybody change that and make you feel like you can't be yourself. Everybody deserves to be happy and everybody deserves to be comfortable in their own skin and I can't wait. Who says that you have to be heterosexual to be able to enjoy life freely? Like, who said that? It's anyway. <laughs> so it's like, I just can't wait. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be a beautiful day. And if somebody doesn't want to talk to you because you're gay, then you don't need them. So <laughs> there's plenty that will love to be your friend. We'll be your friend. <laughs> like,